Hi, I'm Joe Carrero, and on my website, theaveragejoe.us, I want to continue to share with the average Joes and Janes out there how we've been hoodwinked by our government and also offer solutions to get our economy back on track. But you need to start thinking from your own perspective to understand the true impact of government policy. Now, one way I thought would help me survive in our current economic downturn was to save on the money I was spending on gas and maybe even consider trading in my SUV during the Cash for Clunkers program. So I figured out how much better off I and the country would be if I decided to trade my vehicle in. And listen carefully so that you can figure out for yourself how these schemes really work. Now, I would drive about 10,000 miles a year and get 16 miles per gallon using 625 gallons of gas. A new vehicle that travels 10,000 miles a year at 25 miles per gallon uses 400 gallons of gas. So the average cash for clunkers transaction could reduce gasoline consumption by 225 gallons per year. The government claims at least 700,000 clunkers were replaced that first year at a cost of $3 billion, saving 157 million gallons of oil per year. And at 42 gallons per barrel, that equates to 3.75 million barrels of oil. Now, 3.75 million barrels of oil, at even the highest price of, of $100 per barrel, costs $375 million. So, the government paid $3 billion of our tax dollars for, for clunkers to save less than $375 million? Therefore, they spent over $8 for every dollar we saved. They could have just reduced the federal tax on gasoline so that we could all save and stimulate the economy by spending our money on goods and services. Now, that's stimulation for us all. Of course, if you listen to my video on economic clunkers, you would understand the main beneficiaries of throwing that good money after bad were the auto financing companies, car dealerships, and used parts companies, while 700,000 people who couldn't afford a new car went further into debt along with our country. And if you listen to my video on stimulus waste, you would see how this sort of either stupidity or corruption is going on all the time. But presidents and Congress don't think we're smart enough to catch on. Or maybe the problem is, is that the people that run for president or those who are members of Congress are wealthy enough that they don't have to figure out or don't know how to figure the real impact of their decisions. And this is just one example of the myriad of decisions that, that end up harming our country's economy under the guise of helping us out. So keep your eyes open and watch those in government who make it appear that they're helping while only benefiting those who dictate policy through their contributions and influence. Stay alert, folks, and start supporting candidates for office who actually know what they're doing. And thanks for listening to An Average Joe.